this tutorial, we are going to talk about dynamic blocks in JSTACAD. Here is a dynamic block reference of a door that can be flipped by clicking these grips. So in this part, I will show you how to create a dynamic block with flip parameter. Double click this block and click OK to open the block editor. Let's delete the parameters and actions first. Now we can start introducing how to add flip parameter and action to the block. Here is a parameter set panel, which already combines the parameter and action together. Let's select the flip set, specify the base point of the reflection line, enable auto mode, then specify the end point of the reflection line, and place the label here. Notice that there is an exclamation mark next to the action symbol, which means the action settings are not finished. Since dynamic blocks only work properly after setting the action, we need to double-click this mark, select objects, and press enter. OK, then I will add a flip parameter and an action to the block separately. First, select the flip parameter in the ribbon parameters panel. Specify the base point of the reflection line and the end point of the reflection line. Put the parameter label here. Add one grip. Enter. Then select the flip action in the ribbon action panel. Click the parameter and select the objects. Press enter and place the action label. OK, let's close the block editor. Yes, in the current drawing, let's click Insert Command in the ribbon, select the door block. You will notice there is a little mark in the corner. It's a symbol of the dynamic block. You can see this one doesn't have. Let's select back and click OK. Place the dynamic block here. Then we can flip it by clicking groups that are associated with the parameters we added.